Peace and greetings, peace and greetings to the family. Brother Divine here, owner of, of a, a Culture Shock LLC. And today is actually day 16 of the vlog, Life as an Entrepreneur. And it's a Tuesday, so you know what that means, guys. It is Tinder Tuesday. And what we like to do on Tinder Tuesday, we like to give like, you know, sales tips and uh, sales strategy uh, to help the family, you know, uh, generate sales or whatnot. And, uh, you know, just giving some, uh, some insight of some things that you might encounter, you know, um, just being an entrepreneurship and, you know, like I said, just trying to gain sales or whatnot. Um, before I get into the vlog, I just want to give you kind of like the guys an update of what's been going on with me personally and business wise or whatnot. Um, we've been doing a lot of investing the last couple of weeks or whatnot. We've been, uh, re introducing a lot of products that we haven't had in a, you know, a while or whatnot, especially going through this whole transition of being from a divine essence to a culture shock LLC. So, we're doing a lot of investing. Um, we had an event yesterday or whatnot. Uh, had a real, real good day as far as sales and things of that nature. Um, we had a lot of uh, good networking opportunities opportunities as well. Met a lot of uh, people or whatnot and got a lot of information on some things that uh, didn't really know, you know. So it's always good to take, you know, uh, seize opportunities to network with other uh, entrepreneurs or whatnot and just getting a leg up on certain information that you just might not have known or whatnot. So um, pretty much uh, it's been pretty good as far as business. Um, you know, like I said, we've been, uh, we just got our incense back or whatnot. Pretty soon we're going to have our. Um, our brand of burn oils, um, also introducing uh, oil uh, diffusers or whatnot, and a whole lot of other things we're going to be incorporating real, real soon or whatnot. So we'll be keeping you guys updated uh, on all of those things. But um, like I say, today is Tinder Tuesday. And we're, uh, what I wanted to talk about today was just like, you know, different personality types that you might encounter, uh, especially doing like vending events and pop ups and things of that nature. And, um, you know, pretty much, you know, to uh, success, successfully connect with, you know, prospective uh, clients and customers and things of that nature, you need to know a little about uh, a little bit about their, you know, personal um, style, personality style, things of that nature. And um, I was looking up some information. I found like 10 basic personality types when it comes to different buyers that you may encounter. And uh, your delivery must be able uh, to be like flexible enough to relate. Uh, so, uh, you know, all type of different personality uh, types or whatnot. So I gathered this information, talked about these 10 different personality types that you might encounter. Now, don't get caught up on the names. They're all gender neutral. I just uh, these are the names that, you know, where I found this information, what they used or whatnot. So it's not specific to a specific specific gender, even though it might be a male name or, you know, a female name or things of that nature. So kind of just take that out of mind and just think of the actual personality type because you'll run into these types a lot um, especially dealing with like prospective clients and uh, customers that you're trying to gain their business so uh, this is just you know to prepare you uh, when encountering things of that nature like I always say the five P's proper preparation prevents poor performance so okay so the uh, first personality type we want to talk about is believing Bart okay and a believing Bart is already sold on your company and uh, knows what to expect from your products. He is easy to work with, and after you convince them of your competence, he'll remain a uh, loyal or whatnot. Uh, don't short sell the products just because you know that they're already sold on the quality of your products. And also, providing dependable service and follow-ups will help you close the sale and gain Bart's uh, repeated uh, business or whatnot. And also, you'll gain uh, referrals from them as well or whatnot. So. It sounds like uh, Believing Bart is pretty much like one of your A customers. I was talking about that in one of the previous vlogs or whatnot about your A tier customers and clients or whatnot. These are like your biggest cheerleaders. They're going to, um, you know, refer your business to other uh, potential clients and customers or whatnot. They're going to be like your biggest cheerleaders. They're going to always ask for business cards so they can hand them out. And uh, this is just going to help, you know, help you build uh, your brand because they actually believe in your brand. They actually sometimes they grow along with your brand as your brand grows or whatnot. So um, but you like this just said, you don't want to short sell them and, you know, get kind of lax with them just because, you know, you already have them as a, a loyal client or whatnot. So you always want to, you know, cater to them and their needs or whatnot. Uh, buyer two is Freebie Freddy. And I know we've we've all run across this type right here. Uh, Freebie Freddy is a real willer and dealer. Uh, the guy who won't settle until he thinks he has the upper hand and you've agreed to give him something extra. 
The market is filled with these types. If you give them freebies, they'll brag to others and upset, you know, the other people about benefits that they receive, but they didn't receive. So the way they handle this type is to let them know that they're very important and special, you know, and that they always drive a hard bargain and that you admire this in them. OK, um, you don't have to give the whole company, uh, you know, a way to entice this person. And, you know, simple enti uh, enticements can be, you know, uh, just providing like a little bit of uh, extra TLC and tender love and care or whatnot. Uh, this can be like, you know, just giving like thank you notes, uh, showing gratitude. Um, what I like to do, I give uh, loyalty cards. I have loyalty cards or whatnot. Um, you know, five purchases or whatnot. You receive 15 percent off on, um, you know, after you fill that card up and things of that nature. So um, it's just you want to kind of handle them delicately because like it was saying, you don't want to have these people talking about they're getting all these uh, extra benefits that you know they might not receive and they also spend good money because that can cause a riff in uh, you know your clientele or whatnot so uh, that's how you handle the uh, the freebie uh, freddies or whatnot now buyer three is a uh, purchasing poly purchasing poly is a is a distant matter of fact uh, type of person you know who carries a very high level responsibility Normally, uh, you see these types in like a uh, business to business sales situations or whatnot. She has little, a little personal contact throughout her day, you know, besides the contact that she gets from the salespeople who come through the office or whatnot. And um, so she can't risk liking you too much because she might have to, uh, you know, replace you with the competition or whatnot. So, uh, you know, when dealing with her, you know, give a no frills or no fluff type of presentation. Don't be uh, don't try to become too familiar with them or whatnot. Uh, stick to the facts and figures, you know, she'll be grading you on every step on, uh, you know, during this whole sale process or whatnot. So you want to be like real, real thorough with the information that you're providing uh, to them. And uh, also be low key, you know, um, you'll stand out from the uh, the typical salespeople that she runs across, you know, during her day or whatnot. So you want to stand out. Uh, don't be too extra and just stick to the facts you know keep it real real simple but be real real thorough with uh you know the information that you provide them okay the fourth uh personality type that you might run across we like to call them evasive ed now evasive ed is going to be like your most challenging buyer uh he refuses to refer uh, return phone calls he proposes uh, postpones appointments or reschedules them always at the last minute uh, he likes to shop around and uh, they'll keep you waiting and really test your patience, you know, at every turn. Uh, so when dealing with this type, you know, you want to enlist the aid of their secretary or support staff. If it's like a, a business to customer type of sale, you're going to want to enlist the aid of like maybe like a family member uh, or a spouse or something of, uh, of that nature or whatnot. So um, then uh, they may be uh, able to tell, you know, how to get you know their business or whatnot so you know you want to create also when dealing with these people like a sense of urgency uh in your presentation you know and uh you know so you want to give them all the benefits and try to get like a quick decision out of them so this is why you want to create that sense of urgency uh use like some kind of special reduced investment or a close out uh, you know uh offer on the product or whatnot you know this is pretty much on like a limited time uh basis or whatever or whatnot just to create that sense of urgency to hurt uh, you know like I said, to try to get a, a quick decision out of them. So uh, those types, you're going to run across them and uh, they're very, very hard, you know, to deal with or whatnot. But uh, once you get through that wall of, um, you know, making a sale or whatnot, those people can uh, become like very, very uh, valuable allies to you in your business or whatnot. So you want to, you know, be kind of delicate with those uh, types as well. So number five uh, is going to be griping Greg. Now, Gripe and Greg is all, always has something to complain about. They always have something negative to say, you know. So the most important thing that you can do with these type of people is really just be listen to them, be empathetic. But you want to limit your ex, uh, exposure to the negativity that you know um, that they might bring. So you know when you call them, uh, try to call at a time where they're limited on their time, so they're not going to do too much talking over the phone. So this is a limited. Uh, limit the act, you know, the time of the negativity that you might receive dealing with these type of people or whatnot. And, uh, but you really have to decide, man, is it really worth the money that these people might bring into your business? You know, is it worth dealing and going through the head of, of dealing with these types? Uh, like how we were talking about the A, the A tier customers. This kind of like sounds like a D tier 
are on the way to becoming a D tier because like I say, you want to get rid of the D tier customers, you know, your D uh, customers. So uh, you really have to weigh the pros and the cons of dealing with those types right here, uh, the Gripe and Greg types, you know, but it sounds like this will be a D customer. So me personally, I'm just going <laughs> to, like I say, you're going to delete the D customer. So uh, number six, uh, personality type that you might run across is analytical Anna. And uh, she pretty much knows exactly what she wants. Uh, she's going to also want everything written in blood or at least, you know, carved out in stone. So she's very nitpicky. Everything uh, needs and uh, has to feel, you know, that she has to be in like comp uh, complete control of it. So, you know, disordering any type of form is going to like shatter her her mental, you know what I'm saying, uh, thought process or whatnot. So you want to stay clear of that and be very, very organized when you're dealing with analytical analysts. All right. She craves organization. Uh, handle everything in writing. Be punctual. Double check everything and uh, let them see that you're doing this because this will make them comfortable with you. Also, you know, you want to confirm appointments with them. Always reconfirm details of your meetings in writing with them. You know, uh, also fax and email, you know, like a recap to uh, to them about, you know, the meeting that you might just had with them. Uh, and also, you know, when you want to contact them ahead of any meetings that you might have with them just to give them info on the next meeting that you're going to have or whatnot. So they're very detail oriented people, man. So you really want to show them that you're really, you know, paying fine attention to, you know, dotting I's and crossing T's when you're dealing with these types or whatever. So, OK, so um, number seven is going to be domineering Donna. Now, domineering Donna is a very strong willed, uh, strong will, you know, ball of fire who is most likely has, a, you know, full like a full power position or whatnot in the company. Um, they often hide their needs because they expect you to already know, you know, pretty much have done your homework and know already what they need. So, you know, perhaps the most important thing you do is, uh, you know, to compliment them on their importance. Also remind them on their value and, uh, you know, as far as their abilities with the company, uh, the things that they do. Most people are going to be intimidated by their ambition for power or whatnot. And most people try to avoid working with them so they can become a, a very positive force. Uh, for you if you know you you have the challenge uh or you know just be uh be willing to take that challenge of you know dealing with them or whatnot you know what i'm saying uh a lot of people uh get intimidated by these types of business you're going to run across a lot of these type of people too um uh, the best way to deal with these people is just be confident in and in, in know your value and um uh, and just present it to them, man. It just be straightforward, man. These types, man, they can they can really smell the blood in the water, man. It's just like sharks. When they smell that, that blood in the water, they're gonna feast. So as long as you're, you know, ten toed and when you're dealing with these types or whatnot, uh, you could win them over in your favor, or whatnot, and they become like very, very strong allies. So uh, don't be afraid to deal with the domineering donnas uh, in the world or whatnot in business. So uh number eight is gonna be controlling Carl. Now for them uh, it's their way or the highway. They are self-proclaimed experts, uh, even though their expertise may be limited uh, you know, to their co own company or whatnot. They're also poor at delegating authority. They want everyone and everything to be reported to them. So these people like to micromanage everything or whatnot. Um, and also they uh, they're rude. They may interrupt you in your presentations uh, when dealing with them. You know, you want to be extremely polite, prepared and concise. If interruptions become too much of a distraction, offer to reschedule, you know, off premises in a neutral uh, location or whatnot. Or you can simply enlist the aid of their sec uh, secretary or assistant. Uh, be agreeable with them. Say things like um, this will only take a second. Uh, let me direct you. Uh, let me take you directly to the product. You know, this strategy lets them know that you're cognizant of the fact that, you know, you value their time or whatnot. You know, it's kind of like stroking their ego or whatever. But dealing with these types right here this is kind of like i will put these in the realm of a d customer so you're going to have to really weigh the pros and cons of do you want to want to do business with these people are these people really going to be beneficial to your business or whatnot and even uh is it worth the headache so you want to be wary with deal, uh, dealing with those type of uh, people the controlling cars number nine is the cynical cindy's um pretty much cindy is the first to say you know but we've already we've always done it this way. They fight change. Uh, they're also suspicious and they question your every move. 
They'll likely have been a part of like the old guard where they've been like a long time employee with the company and consumer sales. Um, they may be a, an, like an un, unwilling spouse or child. They have no intent whatsoever, you know, in uh, in helping you. They're going to make your job completely difficult or whatnot. So they're going to go against the grain on whatever it is you're saying. So uh, the best thing to handle, the best way to handle these types is, you know, welcome the ejections, you know, even compliment compliment them on being you no know, smart enough to bring up their objections or whatnot uh, impress them by you know doing like a lot of name dropping of uh, people or companies that they trust um, you know people that they've already used their product or whatnot because uh, you know and also what's going to be a plus when dealing with these types especially if you win them over their hesitance uh, hesitancy will become like a plus because you got to think about it if you're having a difficult time trying to win these people over or whatnot if you win them over, just imagine the time that your competition is going to have trying to win these people's uh, business with them. So um, these people be can become very, very powerful allies as well. Uh, so you want to, you know, um, try to win these people over because, man, it, it, they, it could be a very, very uh, clutch demonstration for you if you do. And the last personality, personality type is going to be Drifting Dan. Now, Dan is the type, you know, that... Uh, He's just like a many potential clients or whatnot. They have a lot going on in, in their mind or whatnot. And, you know, purchasing uh, or talking about, you know, purchasing, you know, with you or whatnot is like just one of the many things that they might have to handle as far as like their duties and tasks of that day. So uh, your presentation has to be both, you know, mentally, mentally and physically involved to keep them mentally and physically involved. So you want to, uh, you know, be prepared to deliver, deliver your presentation in small bits and pieces or whatnot and also include several brief summaries of what you covered you know to bring their attention back if it seems like they're drifting off in the conversation or the presentation of what you're having um if the problem isn't your presentation and you just might have chosen a bad time just just ask them do they want to reschedule the meeting or whatnot and try to catch them where um you have their full undivided attention or whatnot Sometimes things happen in life or whatnot, and you can't really fault people, especially these type of people. They just, they, they put so much on their plate, so they're dealing with a lot. So kind of be patient with them. These, this sounds like somewhere, I would probably call this like a C customer or whatnot. Uh, they have potential to be bumped up to a B customer, potentially to an A customer. So work with these people and be real, real patient with them. And uh, it could pay off for you, man, as far as sales in the future. So yeah, I just wanted to give those... Uh, those sales tips and strategies or whatnot uh hopefully that information will help you like i say prepare you dealing with these different personality types uh, if you've been in business before i'm pretty sure you've run across those different personality types and this is kind of it, it's not written in stone that these are the only type of people that you'll deal with you might get excuse me kind of like combinations of a lot of that right there uh but that's kind of like a baseline just to like I say, give you kind of like a heads up of uh, different people that you might deal with. And it'll kind of, like I say, it'll give you a way to craft certain sales pitch depending on the energy of what you're getting from these certain type of customers. And if they kind of fit into those modes or whatnot, it'll just help you prepare a little bit more uh, of dealing with them as far as your sales pitch and things of that nature. So I hope this information was good to the family as far as being beneficial. It'll help you with uh, your sales or whatnot. Um, as I always say, any questions, concerns, comments, feedback, please feel free to, to comment on the YouTube channel, Culture Shock LLC, or you can also email me at sardavid83 at gmail.com, and I'll uh, respond as far as possible or whatnot. Uh, so yeah, man, I'm not going to take too much of your time. I'm going to go ahead and end this, uh, this vlog or whatnot. Uh, and also uh, be prepared for a whole lot more interviews man with uh, a lot more interesting people man that i've run across in my uh in my business journey journey or whatnot and uh i feel like they have a lot of information man to relate to the family man to maybe like i say be beneficial to you or your entrepreneur journey so peace to the family from brother divine